Hello everyone, my name is Katie and I'm so thrilled to welcome you back to my channel. Huge thank to everyone if you have already subscribed. And if you haven't yet, please click the subscribe button below and the bell so you'll be notified when a new video is up. So today's topic is about how to set up your brand on Canva. Look at the left side of your screen. I'm pointing at where it says your brand right now. And I will be walking you through two different account types. The free Canva account and the paid Canva account, which is commonly referred to as the Canva for Work account. At the end of the video, you will be able to set up your own brand with ease and you will be able to navigate Canva with more confidence. So are you ready? Because I am. Let's get started. What you see on your screen right now is my Canva for Work account. And for this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through on how to create a new account just in case you don't have a Canva account yet. And as soon as you sign up, your Canva account will be the free account so let's create a new one you should look at this area where it says new to canva sign up so you will choose um, whatever applies to you i most usually use personal and then i always choose sign up with email i don't use sign up with facebook because if my account gets blocked then i'm not sure what's gonna happen with my account so um for security reasons and for just my own peace of mind i always see you sign up with email and then i'll type in my name click sign up and then I'll save the password let me see what I'll choose here it's business owner or manager and I don't have a team yet and I don't plan to collaborate on anyone to create the designs as of the moment so I'll skip I'm not gonna create anything yet I'll just click on play with Canva and you will see this the reason why you will see this is because you have not confirmed the email yet so what we will do right now is to log into the email and confirm the email that canva sent to us so let me log into that All right, the Canva email is there. Confirm your email, just click this, and a Canva window will appear. So as you may have noticed, there's a big difference with the window that you're looking at right now and the earlier version or the inter earlier interface of Canva that I showed you. We are looking at a free Canva account, and then in order for us to activate or customize our brand kit we just have to click on this brand kit all right and it will show us the color palettes logos fonts and uploaded fonts so let me tell you one thing with the color palettes when you are on a free account you are able to add a few colors i always go to color palette ideas here in colorpalettes.net and I search for color, color palettes here so I don't have to rock my brains on what colors look okay beside each other. So for our tutorial, I'm going to just pick pink and then let's see um, the colors that it will suggest. I'm, I'm liking this um, color palette so I'm going to click it and then the hex codes will show up and for the free account, I think it's just going to allow us to add three let me see yes only three so let's choose the three colors that we like out of this five and then just take note of the other colors so i like this three i'll start with the lightest first so this one then i'll just copy the hex code and then come here and then change the hex code so see the color changed and then I'll copy the other color all right and then change this one and then the last color that I will choose for my brand kit is this one 
All right, so we have already changed and we have already um, input the color palette that we want for our brand. You can also change the name. So let's say I will use the name of my online store. So that's it. And I'm no longer able to add any other colors because I've reached the limit of colors. So please expect that when you create a new account or if you have a free account right now, you will only be able to add three colors to your brand kit. All right, so you are not able to add your logo because it's only for the Canva for Work account and you will not be able to set your brand fonts as well and you will not be able to upload any fonts. So that's the big advantage of having a Canva for Work account. All right, so if you want to check your designs, in our case, we don't have any design yet. So the folder will be empty okay now if you want to create a new design you just have to click create a design and we will create a sample file so that i can show you how you can use your brand colors okay so let's click on instagram post and a new tab will open all right now we will click on elements so we can add a square file Okay, and then we will change the color. As you can see, the, the color palettes that we have set earlier will be on top of the default colors, all right? So you just have to click here if you want to apply that. And then we can add another one and then change to this color and then add another one and then change to the third color that we chose. It's really easy to use your brand kit right now. In the future, when you create projects or when you create designs you will have a more consistent color palette across all the designs that you are doing because you have already set your brand kit you will appreciate your brand kit more when you have a canva for work account so let's quickly jump into the canva for work account so i will be able to show you how you can activate the brand kit and by the way you are able to upgrade your account there is a free trial you can create a canva for work and it's going to be free for 30 days you will be able to take control of your brand with your brand kit that's what i was um, explaining earlier you will be able to resize your designs as well you can create stunning animated graphics and by the way the image resizing as well as the creation of stunning animated graphics will be on another tutorial video so i hope you watch out for that and if you are excited you can comment below what you want me to to record first if you want me to create a tutorial about resizing just comment resize or if you want animated graphics then you can comment animation all right and you will also be able to collaborate with shared templates and folders with your team and another advantage of having a canva for work account is you will be able to export designs with a transparent background so if for example i uploaded a logo and the background is not transparent i will be able to export that same logo with a transparent background if i have a canva for work account so i think i'm gonna create a video about that as well it's gonna be short for sure so if you are excited to watch that video type in the comments box below transparent and i'm going to record a video for you so there if you want to try it for 30 days it's for free you won't be charged for anything and based on my experience three days before your trial expires you will be receiving an email so if you want to push through you can, don't have to do anything your credit card or your bank account or whatever information you have input for your payment method will be deducted and if you want to cancel then cancel as soon as possible but still you can you still have 30 days exactly before your canva for work runs out so please remember that 
once your Canva for Work account expires and if you have uploaded fonts and you have uploaded your logos, you won't be able to access them anymore. Same thing with your color palettes, okay? If you have questions, let me know and I'll be here to help you out. Now let's quickly jump into the Canva for Work account that I already have. So let me just close that window and reopen one. I forgot to log out. I'm sorry. So click here on your name or your initial and sign out. And then I will log in to my Canva for Work account. All right. Now, this is the Canva for Work account. I think for the newer accounts, you would still have a white background. Not like this. This I have an old account. I think this is about two years already or three years if I'm not mistaken that's why I still have the old interface so let's go ahead and click on your brand and you will see that I have I have a lot of color palettes already so for myself for my clients and some of the colors here are for the colors that I often use so not exactly my brand or my clients brand but once i'm designing something i always lean towards this color so it's basically the same thing as what we did earlier if you want to add another palette then just click on add new palette and you can add the colors that you want let's go back here and input all these colors since we are able to put as many colors as we want for our brand okay so we'll just have to click on this so again you can add as many colors as you want five is not the limit but for for when, when you create for your brand already i suggest that you have a maximum of three when you are designing and um i mean maximum of five so that you will have accent colors but when you are designing less is more so there you go we have input let me see what the name is it does not say a name but let's get a link here so heavily light pink so I, I like naming my color palette so <laughs> if you want that as well then you can rename your color palette for ease as well and for you to like be familiar with the color palettes that you have so again like I mentioned earlier you can have as many colors as you want in fact I already have like 14 here and I can still add more here i have 16 and i can still add more as long as there's a plus sign to it then you can add colors now for the logos you can upload as many logos as you want so your brand your client's brand and any other logos that you are using frequently and then for the uploaded fonts you can upload fonts as well and there's a limit of 25 fonts choose the fonts that you really really like using that are not yet inside canvas interface because canva has a huge list already of fonts that you can use and you can also activate your font combinations that you like using i'm not sure why this font section right here is not showing anything and it's just white area right now but um normally what you will see would be the fonts there are three fonts here as uh, so your font combinations the heading subheading and the body of your design and um, it will show you the font and then the font size as well and um, if you wanted to change it you just have to click on this pen icon right here and then you will be able to change the font just by clicking on this drop down arrow um, the font size you will be able to change as well um, if it's bold or if it's italics but you have to take note that if the font that it shows actually does not have a bold version or doesn't have an italic version then you won't be able to set this option right here and it will be identified as well if it's an uploaded font or not all right so that's about it for setting up your brand kit you can also um put your templates right here if you want to use templates 
and um, if you have any questions or if there's something confusing with what I've discussed today about setting up your brand in Canva using a premium or the Canva for Work account or the free Canva account, then please comment. Let me know. If you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Make sure to click the bell icon so that you will be alerted when a new post is up or when a new video is up. And again, my name is Katie. Welcome, welcome to my channel and you have a great day. Goodbye now. Before you came round. My heart would never be much if I started Before you came round I was ready to stop